Hi everybody, um, today I just wanted to do a quick stock market uh, review, uh, take a look at what's been going on this past week and kind of uh, hopefully make some predictions about Thursday and Friday um, and just get some uh, entertainment out here for everybody. Uh, so hopefully not just entertainment but also some education here. Uh, so you can see uh, that basically we have been having quite a significant downtrend uh, for the past uh, week or so. Um, we did uh, kind of have a little bit of an uptrend on Tuesday. Um, uh, today was primarily a down day um, and also Monday was a down day. So you can see uh, last Friday was really bad. So we're kind of coming off a pretty bad uh, Friday from last week. So interestingly, we've kind of created a certain level of support here, um, right around this level of 36.05. Um, so you can see in the volume profile that that's pretty much been what uh, the case has been um, in terms of uh, a lot of support in that level. And we can see there's actually even some support um, all the way up to 36, 38, 39 or 40. Um, so right around in that level there. So you can see in the lower lowest level of support is right where we're at right now. So, um, and that's kind of the volume profile. Um, you can also see there's another level kind of higher, um, but quite a big gap because of that Friday drop uh, that we saw. So sadly on Tuesday, we saw quite a bit of a downtrend here. Um, almost as significant as what we saw on Friday, uh, just not as sustained. So basically the level was a little bit lower um, on last Friday, but you can see it's quite bad uh, for this uh, Tuesday. Uh, so basically on Friday, that drop uh, basically took the MACD down to one of its lowest levels uh, in about a month. Uh, so that's been pretty bad. That was a pretty bad drop actually. And you can see the highest level before that was right um, on uh, October 4th here. So, um, but you can see that basically we did kind of climb up a bit on the MACD, but we were pretty much negative the whole time. Um, so by the MACD, at least it's got it back to a uh, flat, flat lining here. So if you extend the line of the MACD here and kind of judge that based on how far we can go, um, and then on the upside, um, do some kind of uh, analysis there as well. So you can see that probably by the 12th, which is today, um, we should see uh, the lowest level um, on MACD. So right in today is kind of the lower level that we might expect. Um, and then we should see some kind of bounce. Um, the other possibilities, if you look at the signal line here, red line that could be all the way into the 13th so early morning hours of the 13th um, we could see a lower level still with the MACD kind of lower down here line and then the signal line being in this range so in that case the market would be preparing for a downward move um, perhaps because of CPI index uh, numbers being released uh, tomorrow so on the daily chart uh, you can see that we're still looking pretty bad here. Um, we kind of been going down uh, quite a bit uh, in the last, um, actually just few months. So on the SPY here, you can see um, we might wait until 10, uh, 21, uh, so another week or so, um, until we start seeing positive territory. Um, and that really could happen um, in maybe 10, 24. So that's even about uh, two weeks from now. So here on the force index, you can kind of see that this might be out into November um, that we have, uh, you know, maybe the turnaround might start in the start of November. So if you look at this chart here um, and you kind of extrapolate what this means, um, you know, if we continue on this course that we're at right now, we draw this line from here to here, um, we're basically talking about a 6% move downward in total November. Um, which is pretty significant drop um, in the stock market. And here you can kind of see the graph uh, showing basically what's going on uh, until about November 1st. Uh, and you can see, you know, this, this trend that we're seeing here, if this kind of continues um, and then we bounce based on the force index uh, right around that time. Now we can compare that um, to basically stochastic momentum index and you can kind of also see um, potentially that there could be, uh, you know, kind of an equalization around that time as well. 
so the good news is on the volume side of things, um, we did see volume kind of uh, get to be a little bit higher on this uptrend uh, recently. So that was good to see um, that at least, so there's maybe a possibility that um, I could be wrong uh, and that volume could keep increasing here and we could get some positive moves uh, somewhere around uh, middle of late next week. So you can kind of see the trend here that the volume uh, basically has been dropping uh, overall getting to be more negative um, even even before what we saw uh, this current uh, you know high that we saw in back in August here. So this just kind of suggests some increase in the volatility of the volume, right? So you can see that we might see both increases in the positive side and negative side. So some pretty big jumps, um, at least here. So we're starting to see this widening here uh, from the past. Um, and then maybe if we do see a pretty negative move uh, here in the next uh, week or so. So the really bad news is that basically on the weekly chart, you can see the MACD has been uh, struggling. Uh, you know, this uptrend that we saw after uh, the whole COVID basically stopped in uh, middle of the year of 2021. Um, and then we've been kind of dropping ever since. So with pretty much the main part of that acceleration happening uh, at the start of the year here. So the last time that we saw uh, this kind of low period really was uh, just recently, but then before that, um, it was the COVID land. So we're even lower than that on the stochastic momentum index for some reason. So it looks like uh, this downward trend that we had uh, really affected things a lot. So the stochastic momentum index is quite low. So it looks like we might not see that turnaround uh, until, um, you know, late October, early November. So the stochastic really does give us a pretty good picture because if we see this curving here, um, you know, you can kind of see it curving around like this, say, for instance, right? Um, and then that would be <coughs> even mid-November. <coughs> so on the RSI here, you can see that we've been dropping uh, for quite some time. Uh, back into 8 of uh, 21 and you can see that's been kind of a downward trend here um, and we haven't really even hit uh, the COVID levels of negativity yet we've almost gotten there um, and if we do get down there you know it's going to be in the next week or so so basically what I'm trying to say here is that the next week is very important uh, in terms of uh, what happens here like how far down will we go um, at least according to RSI, we can't get too much lower, um, at least on RSI land. Now on the MACD land, um, again, shows we can't get too much lower as well. So, you know, there should be some kind of correction uh, of some sort coming up here. Um, now on the force index, um, again, we see quite a lot lower that we could go on the force side of negativity. So we haven't really seen anything like what we saw uh, for COVID. Uh, forces of the downward moves there were pretty strong, um, but uh, we're basically about, um, I would say, one third of the way there in terms of force that we see uh, for COVID. But if you take the sum of this, we're probably even almost all of what COVID has had uh, in terms of the impact. Uh, so what I would like to see here is uh, a green bar on the MACD here for the weekly um, before we start seeing a turnaround. Now, we don't even see that on the daily chart. Uh, if you look at here, we're seeing some uh, red bars even starting to show up here on the daily chart. So that means that basically we're starting to head in a downward trend uh, pretty significantly. Um, we were kind of in an upward trend uh, kind of in this green bar range uh, for the MACD, but you can see it's kind of in this uh, the start of the month here, we were starting to see some pretty good movement, positive, but then it just kind of tanked after the 6th and 7th. Now, if you look at this line carefully, the moving average is actually still heading down while the uh, actual line is heading uh, back up. So we kind of have a conflict on the force index here. So we have force index heading down. 
uh, while the short term uh, measurement is heading back up again. So that means, you know, it looks like it is actually heading up again. So this force index probably will curve around a little bit here, um, meaning less force in the negative direction. It's just like we can't have too much negativity um, in this next week. So on the volume, you can see pretty much uh, some bad volume spikes here. Um, and then it looks like it's actually dropping a little bit here. So you can see basically week over week, um, you know, the volume has been dropping uh, pretty significantly and then kind of coming up uh, recently, uh, at least ever since August, uh, kind of driving back up again and then this sudden drop here, uh, at least this last week. Uh, but it looks like we could see some increase in the volume, uh, at least on the volume oscillator. It's just kind of mixed. It should be maybe around uh, head back to midpoint here. So we should expect, um, you know, uh, basically about a 26 point move here. Um, I can do this measurement for you. So basically if you take this average to range, looks like we're kind of decreasing a little bit uh, here. We kind of had a peak. So we should see it's about 20, actually 23 point move. So if you measure that, that's about 6% per week. So we're looking at, you know, up or down 6%. And that's um, about the max that we should see um, over the week, uh, meaning, uh, you know, typically a little more over one, than 1% 1 moves per day. Uh, but we should expect something like that per week. So overall, we are seeing the standard deviation here increase a little bit. Um, you can see relative to the peak back here, we're starting to see some uh, higher moves in general, but maybe some uh, lessening that, you know, right around, uh, you know, June of this past year was kind of the peak, um, but we could see even more of that. I just saw the number just increase here a little bit on the chart, but uh, we could, you know, we just don't know uh, essentially what's going to happen, um, but we could say, um, you know, mid range here about 13 points. Now, a 13 point move, it corresponds to about 3.3.5%. Um, so that's, you know, 70% of the, the time we should be within 3.5% where we are next week uh, from this point. So certainly for the past few weeks, uh, it has looked pretty negative. Um, and then maybe this week right here. So we got uh, still this week that we got to see, but um, it's been pretty negative um, past few weeks, which is not good. But before that, um, pretty positive, but you can see that the volume here was higher uh, than the volume that we saw here. So even though there was some uptrend, the downtrend was even more significant, um, at least in terms of volume. And last, before we close up here, I just wanted to look at the price volume trend and you can see, um, you know, these moves on the upside weren't really as significant uh, as they appear to be. Um, so there's basically wasn't a lot of volume on these moves. Um, but there was a lot of volume on these downward moves. So basically this downward leg was pretty significant um, relative to this upward leg uh, in this range here. So you can see that. And if you look at purely just the on balance volume, you can see we're pretty far negative here. We don't have too many even up. It wasn't really even considered an uptrend uh, according to this uh, on balance volume. So you can see any of these uptrends didn't have any of the volume behind them. So we're really looking for some volume, positive volume, um, you know, like we saw back here uh, in 10 uh, last year, uh, October of 21. So you can kind of see the volume is decreasing here uh, day over day um, and it's not looking good. So that's, uh, but the, and the price is also going down. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this study of the stock market, primarily the S&P 500. Um, you can kind of see, um, you know, we have had a bad few uh, months here um, and it's likely to continue at least into October or November, um, unless next week or so. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Be glad to talk with you about some ideas uh, in the stock market. Thanks so much. Uh, enjoy the video.